Welcome to InterConnect Academy, your channel to learn and master Zoho. In this class, we are going to work with workflow rules. If we want to automate a process within Zoho campaigns, we need to go to the Automations module. And from this main screen, we'll see all the automations we have set up. Notice that they appear in different statuses. We can filter them, organize them by folders, and for each of the each configured workflow. You'll see that they can be cloned if they are paused or stopped, and they can also be closed. If we want to create one from scratch, we go to the corresponding button, and from here we'll be able to select from the different pre-configured templates available. We can choose saved templates from other workflows we've set up, and we also have the option to create one from scratch, right? Completely customized. As for the templates, they're great because they can serve as a guide. For a specific process, such as, for example, onboarding and welcoming. Notice that we have a sequence, for example, a 10-day welcome sequence. Customer nurturing, templates for customer reactivation or retention. Also, thanks to integration with e-commerce, we can automate a process for cart abandonment or for purchase follow-up. And we also have conditional workflows that will be triggered, for example, in the case of a snapshot when a certain condition is met. Or, for example, in the case of time-based triggers, it will activate at a specific moment or it can be set up so that this automation happens on a recurring basis. Or I can also base it on activities so that my workflow is triggered when a specific activity takes place. That is, for example, when the recipient exhibits a certain behavior in response to the campaign that was sent. If we want to create one from scratch, we go to Custom Workflow. In this case, Test. And we create it. We'll find ourselves with a blank canvas, right, and with a side panel containing three different components. We have triggers, processes, and actions. Uh, the triggers are exactly what I'll use for that decisive moment when a workflow needs to be activated. Process is exactly what I'll use to organize the workflow to distribute, for example, my components to segment, for instance, the behavior, let's say, based on the sending of a campaign. I can split the flow into different branches depending on the recipient's actions, whether they open the campaign, don't open it, ignore it, and so on. And as for the actions, these are the ones that will be triggered automatically, right? They will be executed when the trigger condition is met. These are actions related to the participation of the recipients, okay? productivity, and Zoho CRM actions will allow me to send information from campaigns to Zoho CRM, or I can also automatically create a task in that other application. So first, let's select the trigger. In this case, I'm going to select an email campaign. Specifically, I'm going to select the campaign when it is delivered, and I'm also going to allow all contacts who received this campaign to enter. I'm going to save. In this case, we're going to use these elements that are related to the process. In this case, we're going to base it on, for example, this component called, uh, it's a component in this case, a conditional, right? It's simple. Notice that it has two, uh, two options depending on whether the condition is met or not. Let's configure it. In this case, once the campaign is delivered, I'm going to base it on the activity. If the email, for example, is opened and I select the campaign, I apply it. So, once the campaign is sent, if the recipients open that campaign, I want them, for example, to be added to a specific list. 
and if they don't open it, I want a second campaign to be sent to them. In this case, I'm going to base it, then, on the first option. If they open the email campaign, let's decide to add them, for example, to a list and let's set it up. We can select one of the lists we've already created or create a new one from scratch. For example, records. Once the list is set up, let's move on to the next step, the other part of the condition. If it's not met, write. In this case, if this happens, I said I want to send them a new campaign, okay? By email. So, I'm going to choose the participation option, email alert, and we're going to create the message. That message, okay? It's going to be the campaign. In this case, I'm going to set it up just like any other campaign, okay? For the email, the subject line, the topic of the campaign. For example, don't miss these promos and the pre-header. This course is for you. We save. The sender. We're going to choose a single sender. We save. Lastly, we just need to choose the content. In this case, I'm going to quickly pick any template, for example, a newsletter one. Let's choose this one here as a test. I'm not going to customize it. And we click Next. So once it's customized and the template content is chosen, we send it for review. And once we do that, we go back to the canvas. In this case, we're going to connect. Our components enable the response if we need it, and we'll also be able to segment behavior here. For example, we have all these options. If, for instance, our recipients opened the email, we can also decide what to do with them. And if they've, for example, clicked on any link, it's the same thing. We finish up. And this way the information will be segmented, right? So, for those who have opened the email, now what I want to do is, for example, tag them. In this case, we're going to select, for example, the tag assignment. We configure it and choose the appropriate tag. For example, in this case, interested in CRM. And I'm done. And here, for those who clicked on a particular link that we embedded within the template, for example, after a certain amount of time, we're going to click on the three dots and edit. For example, the timing. In this case, I want that. After, after two days, for example. Let's increase it there. For these records, for instance, we send them to or send information about these records to Zoho CRM. So, I want that after two days, immediately following the previous waiting period. And, within our business days, we save, and then some other action takes place. In this case, send data to Zoho CRM. Let's set this up. And notice that in this case I have to select the account, right? It has to be the same one as in campaigns. The module, for example, contacts and select. In this case, uh, the information. We can update existing subscribers, send new contacts, or update only existing contacts. We're also going to send new contacts. In this case, next we would need to do the field mapping. For example, let's go with first name, which is the field we're missing. And finally, 
now, for example, the mobile or the phone, phone. All right, once we've mapped the fields, next. And we could add, for example, some additional action regarding a certain field, right? We can also specify the source. Or not. Once we've selected everything, we save an. In this case, our workflow would already be set up. To finish it, and specifically, to make sure that the recipients don't re-enter this automation if, for example, this campaign is sent to them a second time by mistake or for any other reason, we're going to make sure they exit it, okay? Once they complete the path, these recipients will exit our automation. In this case, look, I can connect this ending to a single component. How do I make sure to change that? Starting from a component of the process, right? Here we're going to use the combined request component. Now, we're going to connect everything to this component. And once that's done, then this other one to the end of the workflow. Once our process is set up, we're going to use the gear icon to configure the different criteria for the workflow in the contacts, okay? For contacts who have achieved their goals, we can enable the skip criteria or not. And for contacts who didn't meet the goal, we can either keep them in the workflow or remove them from it. In this case, we select the first option, apply it. And now, using the plus sign, we can clone, delete, download this template as an image, save the template. And once the changes are made, activate it. Once it's activated, we're going to start, in this case. And now our workflow will be active, which can also be paused, if you want to stop it, right? And from here, we'll be able to get a report of what's happening as this plan, this, this campaign is sent out and delivered to the recipients. For example, how many people have entered, how many, for instance, have exited the workflow, how many achieved the goal, how many were, how many were re-enrolled, right? And regarding the path, we can enter, in this case, the email address, and, uh, to track exactly the path taken by all the records or recipients, as they move through the workflow. Notice that in each component we also have an information icon, right? Which allows us to see everything that's happening in each of the components of our workflow. Regarding the reports, we can also view a detailed report, right? And in this case, we're going to focus on the summary, the flow view, okay? Uh, once again, we have general information about the path. We can look at the contacts who entered, who exited, and so on. And at the messages, in other words, all the emails that have been replied to, right? Based on the campaigns that were sent, we can see the opens by hour, filter by status, and get specific reports on the messages sent. So, this is how we set up automations within Zoho campaigns.